and in the house we have no bigger legend than D Brown from the Boston Celtics. <laughs> no, I just D, how are you doing, that. sir? Hoop, I'm doing good, man. Pains you to say that. I know that. I know it does. I know. Well, it does. you know what? Let's. <laughs> so we're going to kind of jump around for a little bit, but the first thing I want to ask you is how are you feeling about the Celtics series down? You know what? The last two games is what people have been expecting from the Celtics. You know, like playing together, moving the ball, playing defense, you know, um, the things they did all during the regular season got them to the point where they are now, obviously the best record in Eastern Conference. Uh, it's a tall task. I mean, I mean, they, they've done things uh, in the last couple of games that people didn't think they were going to do. I mean, they really – People really thought, okay, well, maybe they'll win game four and then go back and lose game five. Now, you know, the, the pressure has flipped back to Miami um, because this is literally, uh, you know, I think Miami's game seven, um, this game six back at home. Uh, but you see when the ball's moving, the ball's popping a little bit, Jalen, trusting their teammates, you see how good they are. And then, you know, you know how it is. Good offense always wants you to, make, wants you to play defense. And that's what happened. What? You know? But shot goes to the I want to defend. D, we're gonna dig digger into that series and uh, a little bit about our series when we during the eighties when you and I went against each other. But uh, first of all, uh, well, one more question about that: Do you really, really believe in your heart that they can win? I do because they're the better team. That's <laughs> I mean, listen, deep in my heart, I believe. It, usually, when teams are down three zero, the team that's down three zero is the team that's the lesser seed. Or not the more talented team. They're down 3 0, but they're the better. I mean, they're the, you, you, I mean, you can honestly say they're the better team overall, talent wise, than the Miami Heat. So that's the reason why I think if they're, the, if they're a lower seed, I'll probably say, no, you know, they're playing hard. They're around the gas. But I think because they are the higher seed, they were expected to win. They lost both the games at home early. Um, you know, obviously they got to go, I mean, they got to go still one in, in Miami. Um, they do that, they got a chance. The, do, you uh, know what, do, do you know that record? There is, is zero and 150. Anybody down 03 coming back? Somebody's got to do it. Records are meant to be broken. You know, you know that. I mean, you got you got the one of the original captains behind you on the wall, and LeBron James broke his record, which I thought would never be broken. I thought that record would never be broken. You know, so we're saying things. You know, we we've, we've been around long enough to see great achieve things, and all of a sudden, this new generation. And breaking all these records, if it's a three point record, if it's a scoring record, if it's a triple doubles in the playoffs, you know, like uh, the game has changed a lot. So, yes, there's still a possibility as long as, you know, they got another game to play. Showtime with Coop is powered by FanDuel, the exclusive wagering partner of the CLNS Media Network. Sign up at fanduel.com slash Boston. New customers get a no sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's bonus, which bad if your first bet doesn't win. 